don't hurt me, please. No, oh, don't worry. They're real nice. <laughs> Right, hi everyone, I'm Lightwave Owl. Welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. We've arrived back in Coulter. Dead of night by the look of things. We've got the campfire burning. We have Kieran O'Driscoll hogtied to the back of a horse. We're going to take him to the cabin here. Let's see what's crack huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> You want me to make him talk? Oh no, now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are going to find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. All right, maybe he's not an O'Driscoll. Kieran, nevertheless. That's a nice fire. Still snowing. All right, that was the old friends mission. We're going to take a look over at the P on the map. What is that? Hold for details. What details do we see? Log mission brief. Okay. Yep. Done that. Good. Let's take a look over here at the P. A little bit quicker. We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? <laughs> when I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. <laughs> I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. Going to hunting. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted salted off. Ah. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. We've got to eat. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll oh. have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. Okay. You're never too old to learn. I imagine. Oh, that. man. Uh. Come on, this way. All right, so we got some food from Pearson. Was that his name? Um, I was reading. Let me just pause it and I'll show you. If you go into Player down here, I don't know if you guys knew this. You go into Arthur uh, General. I think we go into. It tells you here overview of Arthur. You're welcome to pause this and have a look at. Uh, the words that are on the screen. The amount of honour, that's how good and bad you are. We looked at that in the last couple of episodes. Uh, weight. Now it says here, eating too much or too little will make you become overweight or underweight. Currently it says on the right we're perfect. If you are overweight, stamina will be, ugh, stamina will be affected negatively and health will improve. 
If you're underweight, health will be affected negatively and stamina will improve. So we have to continue eating. We have to be eating. Always eating. And temperature currently is fair. Interesting. Too hot or too cold? If you become too hot or cold, your core health will drain rapidly. Good to know. We've also got other measures here. Uh, metrics for toxicity and well-being. And then we've got perks we can obviously pick up or earn to improve Arthur. So, yeah, there's, uh, there's stuff going on. More than meets the eye. But for now, we're following our How unnamed friend, up, Charles. Charles. Oh, watch it. I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Whew. Oh, okay, we're going off the little gray path. A few days, all right. That right north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John. That thing with the old Driscolls? You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. cinematic camera going on. I can't remember what the controls were to change the camera, but I'm sure it's fine. See some of the ground uncovered here. Let's look down this way. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh, stay quiet. I presume he's hey, saying... Stop here a second. I see something. We need them to move Whoa. so we can see where they've been. <sighs> There's deer been here. And recently. How can you tell? How can you not? <laughs> we'll track them on foot. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. The gun will scare everything around. Horse weapons. Uh, we're going... What does it say? Select long arms. Yep. RT. Select the bow. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. Like this kind of low? See the tracks? I think so. Maybe not. Focus. Eagle eye to highlight animal tracks and their other clues. Press ah. Press both those. To, ooh. RB focus on track. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in. You'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. Sounds good. So I'm hoping we won't be in snow the whole time. A 
about to run out of uh, eagle eye. Bottom right hand corner. I'm losing this. Where's that track going? This way. It's still not even that hard to. Be, uh, it's that easy to see in the snow. Eagle Eye again. Focus on the track. To be honest, I prefer it without the focus. Little blue lines, easy. Your scent is also shown in Eagle Eye, blowing in the direction of the wind. Really? Animals will flee if they smell your scent, so remain downwind or far away. I didn't finish reading that. Far away when hunting or approaching. Where's my scent? I'm not seeing my scent. Shh. Down there. You see him? Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Aim for their head or neck. We want a good, clean kill. Nice. See if you can get another one. Hunt another deer. Don't we want to get that one first? I want to go looking for some. Ah, is that... That's not my scent, is it? That's right, I'll follow this without uh, focusing on it first. I can see the tracks here anyway in the snow. We'll move forward. This is the one that we killed. Need to find us another one, though. Let's see what we've got. Ah, continuing off over the river. retrieve our arrow. We do, just by going close, that's good. I like my belt, that's nice. Got the holster, got the knife, got our bag. Oh look, the little tracks. Nice and clean. Oh. Loads of them. I like that one. Got it. Well done. And the others. Okay. You pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay. I'll go grab the other one. Yeah, you get the other one. I'm getting this one. Obviously. Hold X to pick up the deer carcass. Oh, we're taking it. We're not skinning it here. Fine. Wow. The compendium tracks what you've discovered in the world. It can be accessed in the progress section of the pause menu. Compendium updated. Okay. Uh, I think I saw this down here as well in player. I think it said hold to have a look at this. But anyway, um, if I go into Arthur and go... No, I think it's in... No, I lost it. I should have just followed the instructions and held the thing. Story progress? I think it's in progress. There we go. Compendium. Animals, one of 178 discovered. It is a deer, white-tailed deer. Can be used in the oregano venison recipe. Mmm, handy. We've got 12 pages of this stuff. So that's pretty cool. There's a lot to discover in this game. Discovered three of 72 equipment, Jesus. Zero of 30 fish. One of six gangs, that'll be the Adriscals. Mm. Zero of 43 plants, we haven't done anything with plants or horses yet, although I've got one horse, we've got six of 59 weapons, cigarette cards, we've got one that we found. Wow, we're going to be busy, guys, this is going to be a long play. Long play, long, long play. Where am I heading? Back over to Chappy Chap, where'd he go? Back there, there he is. Charles was his name? Whistle for your horse. Alright, I'll come to you, horsey. Your horse will respond to your calls as long as it's in range. Continue to bond with the horse to increase its distance. Okay, that's good. What are you doing? Let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah. We're getting. We're getting. Come on. <laughs> it's sort of nonchalantly. Just there we go. Whoa. 
Wolves is just doing some poopies. Very nice. Nice in terms of the detail. Okay, boy. We've got ourselves a deer. Animal carcass can be dropped top at nice work, dropped top at Pearson. Should be enough meat here to keep us all to fed for a few to days. Gains. Cool. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch Ooh. and Jose will have a plan. Cool. Yeah, it'd be nice to get off this mountain. Um, I checked out the map. Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater. We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. <laughs> the girl. She has a wild look in her eye. Oh. Yeah, we're not feeding in her. Of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big game. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cone, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. Well spotted. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. See, it says aim weapon, right trigger. That's confusing because that's fire, and aim is normally left trigger, so. Not Charles the bear. Where's the bear gun? The bear. Cut up here, off the trail. Oh, my horse sidestepping. The bear has spooked your horse. Ah, when a predator is nearby, your horse is agitated. Hold left. I see. Hold the left uh, analog stick to trigger it. Much, you and me. Trigger it. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this? Blackwater mess. Being up here. Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Uh, careful. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, 
That ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. For now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Hmm. There we are. I have a sense this has been not the most exciting of episodes, but we're getting into things. Done a bit of hunting. We didn't agitate the bear. That probably would I'm have been another death. Over here. Got some food back, boys. Gonna hitch this bitch. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Or not. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. Takes a lifetime of practice to master. I'm gonna hitch it. There you go. Good. Right. Get this deer off. The animation is brilliant. It was good in the first game, but they've done really well here. Right, he's over back this way. Pearson. Let's give him another deer. Just drop it down in here. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to it. There you go. What a surprise. I find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Ah, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. <laughs> well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. <laughs> go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? <coughs> Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. I'm gonna. See how long this takes. Hopefully about three, four seconds. Someone knows what they're doing, don't they? Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these and sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. <laughs> yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <laughs> Unlock Master Hunter Challenge. Mm -hmm. It's been a bad few weeks, but Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams.
Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur! I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He see me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill! Now, you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's <laughs> a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob! Whoa. That's gonna be some next episode, guys. Everyone ready? Alright, let's head out! Alright, we've got Master Hunter 1. We're gonna call this episode here, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, leave a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. <laughs>